Good afternoon, art lovers. Welcome to painting, my, painting with me. Artwork of the day. Class A artwork, session one of one. Today we're going to be creating something. We just so happen to be doing it with the aid of the relaxing help with alcohol. My choice today is gin with lime and lime, lemon lime, lemon lime juice, lemon juice soda spray. What I'm hoping to do today is inspire the artistic youth of tomorrow to create art when you're kicked out of a party after prom, when you're kicked out and you have to go home and now you're sitting at home drunk and Instead of going on Facebook, you can make art. First thing you're gonna need is a canvas or a paper or something to put the art upon. That's one thing that I didn't prepare, but no worries. Aha! Uh -huh. We have the perfect canvas for your art. And art knows no boundaries is something that someone has said. For today's lesson, I will be using this metal board that we keep bills on. Let's talk about things to use for drawing or making art. Markers. This here is the Expo variety. Great selection of colors. I unfortunately only have three. Sea salt blue. Shades of evening red and lawn. You might have more selections if you have a box of crayons or pastels or paint. Sometimes if you're stuck in a cave and you only have a squirrel, you only have red and its fur and maybe the bone. So, you know, artwork can be made out of anything. But hey, that's art. This is what we're gonna be focusing on, this bad boy right here. This is your creation. Let me just be here as a guide, but you can feel free to steer your ship of artwork into the directions that you prefer. You are your own compass, and don't let anyone ever tell you anything else other than you are your own compass, and you can use your directions for yourself in, in the great navigation of life. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this green, and I'm just gonna, you know, blindly, whatever my heart tells me to do. Now this is a big deal. This determines where everything goes. Don't think too much about it. So you just do that. There are no mistakes in art. This is your second first stroke. Get away from there. Don't touch it. Leave it be. I'm gonna call this a roller coaster. We support keeping it up. Now we could be done. No. Details are the spice of variety. Life is a roller coaster. Let's just say that you are here. You could change colors if you were here. I'm going to select the blue to signify us on this voyage through roller coasters. And could do <coughs> whoosh. This is a backwards roller coaster. My ear. Now stick figures have a bad rap. But I honestly think that stick figures should have a good rap. To signify motion, you do lines behind it. <laughs> lines, those are motion lines. If I were frozen right now, it would look like I'm doing this, but frozen with my... <laughs> and think of Jaws. Red Serpent is coming up, about to eat our roller coaster. I don't know who it is, but that's the excitement of life. There's other stuff that you don't even know about coming right up from beneath you, about to chew on you. Metaphor, this could be a metaphor for life. My life. Don't try to take this as your life, because that would not be fair to me. Look at his hair. A headpiece. This serpent has a life, and also a tongue. So let's name it. I'm gonna name our serpent Rodney. 
Me, you, roller coaster, Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. It's always important to sign your drawings. Now it's an official piece of art. I wouldn't be surprised if you walked into your local establishment and found this vision mounted on a mannequin standing in the middle of a room of dusty envelopes that have been lit on fire and the smoke that rises from the flames makes this bubble that encompasses everyone in the room and then lifts them upwards so they can both see it from uh, ground level but also from above as a bird's eye view. And when they look down, they see the serpent, Rodney, coming up from below the roller coaster to devour the mannequin that has this painting on it. I name that installation Gin and Sprite.